Take your time, we ain't gotta rush All eyes on us, me and you Against the world, forget them girls I can't give up, I can't get enough The, the kind of girl take all the stress off mine We spin your ears, it chills through your spine Lay it down, get yours, get mine My homies like, where you been spending all your time? Only if they knew, you got everything I need I gotta have it from the nails on your hands and feet To the way that you gaze at me when we get done How you put it down, girl, let it Specifically, the train system. That's probably what surprised me the most is their their train system was pretty sophisticated and also very simple. Like very simple, but or like easy to follow when I say simple. Even though their tap water is nasty, I went to Colombia for the first time in twenty twenty one. And I was there for six weeks, and you know, I did not drink the tap water at all. I literally, like, I almost dehydrated myself sometimes because I did not have a bottle of water, and I used to have to, like, make sure I went out and went for my walk and went to go get water and all sort of stuff because I did not know you could drink the tap water. So that was interesting to find out, too. What was the biggest difference in how people live there compared to here? You know what I will say, cause the way that those, um, that that opening was, I mean, I don't know, maybe people do live okay. like that in the States, how oh, the patio was open to the neighbors and stuff like that. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, maybe people do live like that in the States and it's just considered like really cheap housing or something. Mm -hmm. Like, would you say that there's a big street food scene in, in the States? No, States. in the States. Like compared to how we see it out here in no. the places that we, I feel like no. it's, our it's, version of street food in the United States is literally like food trucks. Yeah, yeah. Like it, like. Or like your cake, your local candy lady, you know, like your neighbor neighborhood candy lady. Like, I guess that's the kind of street food I'm I know of growing up. I don't. I, it's like the slushy it. people. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like the street food. Like the whole concept of street food. Right. How was the language barrier slash your ability to communicate with people? <laughs> we keep saying the same thing for this. We might want to throw this question out, but. <laughs> I'm really just out here doing my best with what I got. And I need to stop, I need to put in some effort mm. to do better. Yeah. No matter where you go, just go in with an open mind. Be willing to learn just even the simplest of things especially if you plan to be somewhere for an extended amount of time. If you just know like the like the basics, just like the basics and just like kind of learn as you go, you'll be fine. What did you do for transportation, public transport? We Ubered. We, yeah, we Ubered. Um, what is your machine? Where did we Uber? Oh, up to the airport. We did Uber to Marlboro, but we walked back. But that's just because we was running late, so we wouldn't have been able to. Right, right. What super touristy thing did you do that was surprisingly awesome? What about Park RV? Oh was, yeah, was that RV touristy? Park. I could see how that would be touristy. What about um that mall we went to? Oh, the one in, the one inside the castle. Yeah. That was definitely touristy. <laughs> Is the science museum considered touristy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think tourists are going to the museum. <laughs> the museum. Yeah. The museum. They should. Their science museum. Like, that, that was like, surprising. That was surprising. Yeah, Their there you go. That science was museum lit. was awesome. It was so uh, interactive. Yeah, like, that was a lot. That was a lot. And it was great. There was a it was slide. Great. There was an aquarium. Do we have footage from that? I don't know. Um, yeah. Check the Stay Away Fiance playlist. It's in one of the episodes before this one. We did a lot in Medellin. So we did. We really did. We probably wouldn't even know what was like super touristy and what mm -hmm. wasn't. I also think that Commuter 13 was a touristy thing that turned out to be awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we, should, we skipped. We could have skipped the planetarium. I think they hyped it up. But yeah, we could have definitely skipped the planetarium. I could have skipped that damn massage that I got. Oh. That's probably going to be in a video before this one, too. So 
check out that <laughs> Stay Away Fiance playlist, but I've never yeah. seen anyone go to a massage and come back more upset than they went to the massage, and that happened. That's so. literally, I was thinking about that on my yeah. walk home. I was like, I feel like this massage just pissed me off. What was the best thing you ate on your trip? Damn. La Provincia. <laughs> La Provincia went, went pretty hard, yeah. I would go back there every time I visit Medellin. I also liked at Don Diablo, I had got a side and it was like little mini baked potatoes. I really liked how oh, they presented that. How it was like, was really good. it was cool, yeah. right? I liked how they presented it as like mini mm -hmm. baked potatoes. And it was mini baked potatoes that they hassle back. Yeah, we did. We had some good eating in Medellin. Yeah. What did you pack that came in handy? Honestly, we had to buy the things yeah, that were necessary. Yeah, we started running out of stuff. What do we wish we packed with us? Yeah. What do you wish you packed with you? Fly spray. Oh damn. I do be wishing I had more of my CeraVe moisturizing cream. I still wish that right now. Was it easy to find and buy things you needed along the way? Yes. Did you notice any cultural norms that would be helpful for someone to know before visiting? Maybe a little bit of Spanish? I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the homeless people? <laughs> I won't say that there is a cultural norm, but I would say just so that people know. You know how like in the United States, or at least in the places that I've been to in the United States, Homeless people are not allowed to like walk into the store and be like asking people for right. Like the uh, the staff will put them out or will tell them they have to go. They have to go. But in Medellin, they do not stop them from doing that. Literally, people will be walking through. You'll be sitting at your table, minding your business, or li literally you eating. Me. Right. You will be eating everything, and they will walk up to your table like, please. Please, and they're not gonna tell them to get out or anything. You literally just have to be like, no. Yeah. What do you wish you knew before you even booked your flight? I wish I knew that the Airbnb we chose was going to come with the complications it came oh, with. Gosh. But the location was nice, and I think everything happens for a reason. And I think every place we've gone to has come with its own set of battles, and it's just to make us stronger and more knowledgeable. The internet being the out internet, for oh over my two God, weeks. The internet, yeah. We the family home. was really nice. Like the Airbnb host family, they were really kind. You could tell they were really trying. It was a messed up situation for both parties. Yeah. I, like, you know, she's expecting that the internet's gonna be working. Okay, we might need to hit a light now. Everything happens for a reason, so I'm not gonna say if I can go back, I would do it differently, but I would say like if I knew that that Airbnb was gonna come with everything it came with, we would not have stayed there for sure. Yeah, for sure. So. Did you experience any frustrations on your trip, whether related to the destination itself or the actual traveling? So we basically just explained yeah, that Airbnb, the Airbnb for sure. Yeah. If so, what should people be aware of in order to hopefully avoid those frustrations? Um, I would say ask questions. If you know that you're on um, a certain mission, I think that's what I'm learning, like the, my questions that I need to be asking before booking an Airbnb. Honestly, like, would we stay there again? Probably no. not. <laughs> it's a good place if you're not planning to stay long. Yeah, if you're not planning to stay long, you're not planning to really be in the Airbnb. Yeah, like if you're you just, just need just, somewhere, you just need somewhere to, to, to hold you over. Yeah, to lay your you want, head. Yeah, and you want to be near, like you're near two different. Uh, the location is you know, perfect. It's, yeah. the, it's a walkable area. Yeah, so if you're staying there for not too long and you're someone who like wakes up early, comes home late, comes home late, tired, and you're not a super light sleeper, yeah. it's a cute place, like the place is cute. Airbnb hosts, they're all very kind. The family upstairs is very kind. Yeah. Um, you know, everything, the vibe of 
it is ultimately cool. It's just that it is loud. So if you're going to be someone who's going to be spending a lot of time there, it's probably going to be kind of like, you know, what's to this place. But it is cute and it is affordable. So what websites or services did you find the most helpful for planning slash booking your trip? The same as I said in the last. Airbnb, Skyscanner. What advice would you give someone going there for the first time? Yeah, use the public transportation. Don't be afraid of it. Get some churros. Stop at the street food uh, stalls. Medellin is a fairly developed city. Like it, it reminded us of a lot of the cities or the like busy cities in the states in a lot of different ways. So if there's anything that you like to do in your home city or when you're at home, yeah. look into doing that in Medellin because odds are I think you offer it in some way. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the cable car. What was the most enjoyable or relaxing part of your trip? Medellin very much so gives big city vibes, mm -hmm. but like pretty big city vibes. It was very much so enjoyable, like as far as like going, 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 yeah. because there's just so much to do. We were there for an entire month, and I want to say we went, we went and did something almost every day. We were there for 28 days, and we were outside doing something at, like very at least weird. 20 of the yeah. days. <laughs> yeah, we were outside, yeah. you know. We didn't have that many just sitting at the house not doing anything. The fact that we could walk around everywhere um, and see everything like that was really, really cool. A lot of the nature is still integrated into the city, right? Like it's, it's like they, they built around it instead of cutting down everything and uh, building over it. It was yeah. never too hot, yeah. never too cold. Oh. Did you go anywhere super beautiful where you felt like your photos just couldn't do it justice? The cable car ride through Arby Park. Yeah. That was great. Commuter 13 was cute too. Would you go back? Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. If so, what would you want to do next time you visit? Oh, we yeah. have to go back to the Science Museum. Yep. We have to go back to um, La Provincia. Castillo. Uh, Castillo, yeah. I want to go there. There was a park that we didn't get to go to. I want to try yeah, out fun. Rustic. And just exploring it more and more. There's so much to do in Medellin. Just explore, explore, explore. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day. Really quick, I'm going to give you guys these numbers. I know you guys love to watch these videos for these numbers specifically. They're probably, I know if it were me, these numbers would be <laughs> the most important part of this video. So let's go ahead and go over it. So our Airbnb in Medellin cost, okay. So quick thing about the Airbnb. So our actual Airbnb only cost us, I think, it was like 500 and something, but less than $600, right? But our total is $650.67 because when we thought we were going to move, we had booked an Airbnb to last us like the rest of our stay. But then our Airbnb host was like, no, please give me the opportunity to like fix it. I want to fix it. You know, we're going to get it fixed for you by tomorrow, whatever. We ended up just giving her that extra day because we really didn't want to move that just would have been so annoying so whatever we booked that airbnb and she ultimately did end up getting the wi-fi fixed the next day and so we canceled that airbnb but basically we had to still pay for that day of the airbnb so that's why it ended up being 650 67 as the total cost because of the whole booking it not going needing to cancel the charges associated with that so yeah our flights getting to Medellin was 176.28. So that's like divide that in half. It was that for each of us. Grocery cost was $110.05. Our phone bills again are 120. That's like the thing that's going to stay the same throughout the whole thing. Our recreation was $1,228. And 23 cents but again as we talked about yesterday there's so much to do in Medellin like we were there for an entire month went out damn near every single day and still we could go back and there's so much that we didn't see didn't do could still go you know and experience more of so total cost was two thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars and eight cents so that's our costs for Medellin I can't help it, no 
where you're working Makes me want 